On today's show, new details about the next installment of Resident Evil, a look at the exclusive content for PlayStation, Destiny players, and Xbox Live was attacked. Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Trailers. This is GT News, I'm Andrea Renee with your gaming headlines for Tuesday, December 2nd. And today I want to start out with Capcom's announcement about Resident Evil Revelations 2. So they gave us a new trailer and they gave us some release dates and pricing. The game launches in February and it will feature original cast member Barry Burton. So he was accidentally leaked as a character by the ESRB a little while ago, but now he is confirmed. We also learned that each episode will include a raid mode and two scenarios, with one focusing on Moira Burton, Barry's daughter, and Claire Redfield, and the other will focus on Barry and Natalia Corda, a new character to the franchise. Each episode will cost $5.99, or you can get the complete season for $24.99. If you buy the full season, you'll get two spin-off episodes featuring Moira and Natalia, plus you'll get Hunk as a raid mode character. You can download digitally starting February 17th on the PlayStation Network, or February 18th on Xbox Live and Steam, and every subsequent episode will come out the following week until the retail release, which is on March 10th, and you can get that retail box disc for $39.99, which includes all of the digital content, plus you'll get Albert Wesker as a playable character in raid mode, a throwback stage pack that features classic Resident Evil locales, and an additional costume for each of the four main characters. You're also going to be able to buy all of that extra content individually if you do decide to just purchase digitally, and you can do that on any platform. That includes 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, and PC. Next up, Sony posted on the PlayStation blog detailing what Destiny players are going to get exclusively on PS3 and PS4 when the upcoming expansion The Dark Below launches next week. The DLC includes an exclusive strike on Mars called the Undying Mind. It's set in the Black Garden where Guardians will face a Vex Machine Beast that looks kind of like some other Vex bosses that we've already faced in Destiny, but it is pretty cool looking. You can take on this enemy with a PlayStation exclusive exotic weapon called the Fourth Horseman Shotgun, which is four barrels, five shots, and extremely high rate of fire. All Destiny players in the Dark Below will get access to new story missions, new weapons, armor, and gear. The light level cap raises to 32, and there will be five additional bounty slots. Plus, there are new multiplayer maps that we saw last week, and a new cooperative strike called the Will of Crota, and a new raid called Crota's End, and of course, that new tower character, Eris. In advance of the expansion, Bungie released the 1.1 update patch that introduced a major change the way that you upgrade your armor and your weapons. You'll no longer need Ascendant Energy and Shards. Instead, Exotics now require Exotic Shards, which you can get by dismantling Exotic Weapons, or you can buy them from Xur with Strange Coins. Many Exotics were buffed to make them more powerful, and you can now purchase other upgrade materials like Spin Metal, Helium Filaments, Spirit Blooms, and Relic Iron with Vanguard and Crucible Marks instead of farming them for hours, which I know is a big problem for a lot of Destiny players. Upgrading your loot is just an ongoing struggle with farming. So if you guys haven't downloaded that patch, I highly recommend you do so in advance of the expansion next week. We're going to be taking a look at the Dark Below at the PlayStation Experience this weekend, so be sure to check in on GameTrailers.com for lots of coverage from the show. And lastly, you may have noticed some problems with Xbox Live yesterday. Well, that was because Microsoft suffered a DDoS attack on their network. Xbox users in the United States and Canada suffered service outages after a hacker group attacked their servers. The Lizard Squad is taking credit for this outage, saying on their Twitter page, Sony had it worse, but that it's a small dose of what's to come. The group is threatening a larger attack at Christmas on Xbox Live, presumably when people are at home playing games over the holiday and when that Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta is underway. Earlier this year, Lizard Squad claimed credit for other attacks on PlayStation, League of Legends, Destiny, GTA 5, and many more. Now, Xbox Live appears to be functioning normally, and Microsoft has not commented on this, and I don't suspect that they will, but something to look out for if you are an Xbox Live user coming this holiday season. Hopefully, these guys will grow some holiday spirit and not be jerks about it, because really, like, what's the point? I just, I just don't understand why people do this. I mean, maybe someone out there has an answer or has a theory. Leave it for me in the comments below or tweet to me at Andrea Renee. And thanks so much for watching. That's it for the show today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh,